What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is your boy Hemi Life. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. This is going to be the first video of 2021. So happy new year. Happy holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed your new years. And uh, sorry for the long break, man. I haven't had any uh, video ideas to shoot. So I can't post anything. I'm not going to post anything boring. It's quality over quantity as you guys know. And I want to make sure I upload something that you guys will be interested in watching. So I apologize for that, but in today's video, man, we're cutting into my new carbon fiber hood. If you guys haven't checked out last video, make sure you guys check it out. We got a new hood, but this new hood, uh, once you go over a certain speed, it starts shaking a little bit. That's the thing of carbon fiber. So in today's video, we got some arrow catch uh, hood pins and we're going to be drilling into the hood and installing these. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little sketch so I can cut into the hood. It's a very delicate process because I don't want to mess it up. It is a carbon fiber hood and I do not want to replace it. I want it to be a one shot. So you want to make sure you get all your sketches and measurements all correct. And that's what I'm going to be working on right now. And then once we get that all nice and even and ready, we'll go uh, measure it on the car. And I'll show you guys how I do that. But here we go. Let's get into it, baby. All right guys, so I got my little piece of paper over here. Let's go ahead, open these up. And like I said, again, these are the arrow catch. They're the above the panel, so they're gonna be on top of the hood. And yeah, basically, this is how it looks like. You push this, it releases the lock, and just like that, you push it down, and it locks it. So the way this is set up, you got this and you got this. This goes over the hood and then this comes from under. You put it in and you tighten everything down. So basically what we're gonna do, we only wanna drill or cut into the hood this length right here, not this whole thing, just this. So I don't know how I'm gonna sketch that, but uh, this should be interesting. Or actually, yeah so i'm just gonna use this since that goes into here we're gonna put this in here let's go ahead and grab a pencil and basically hold that down just like that then obviously I'm gonna mark it with some marker and everything. And we also wanna get the holes for this too. side and I'm scared I'm scared to drill into my hood <laughs> See you guys in the garage all right guys so i'm in the garage now i got the car pulled in the hood's popped up i got the thing i got some masking tape you're gonna need some of this i got a drill and i just bought this today a little dremel kit with uh, a whole bunch of things that i might need to make this whole process easier 
I literally just picked it up today, so I gotta open it up. And then, uh, man, I'm super scared, but here we go. <laughs> All right guys, so I got the hood popped up. First step, what you wanna do, obviously remove these covers. And I'm thinking for this, I'm probably just gonna place it right here. And I'm gonna need some of these right here. Find the bolts, find the washers, and we're just gonna put it right there, so find that real quick all right guys so I got the, the thing on I got this washer over here just put it in there and honestly I think the wash or the nut goes from the bottom how many nuts do they give you they give you four nuts so we'll probably put a nut I have, I have a hole right there too okay yeah so it doesn't move we're gonna need one you can see right over here at the bottom okay this is already scaring me so basically it's gonna be like this on both sides there's one right there too and then I'm gonna lower these to the absolute lowest so I can mark my hood so it could be pretty accurate and they're gonna be like somewhere right here I don't know about that that's kind of far As you can see it's hitting it right now. Oh, it'll be good. Alright. Alright, this is scary. Let me get these two figured out first. Alright guys, so I got this pin over here installed. I got it lowered all the way. And I also have some uh some of my brake grease over here. Just to put on the top, it's not focusing, but I put it on the top so I can have a mark of where it's going to hit. I got that done on both sides. So we're going to go ahead, lower the hood nice and slowly. My latch is going to lock right there. Just give it a nice little touch over here. And over here as well. Then go ahead and open the hood. And right here is the area where we're going to be drilling. And right here. So I got my drill uh, with the appropriate fit. And we're just going to drill from the bottom, man. I'm not going to record this part. Oops, sorry. I'm not going to record this part, but we're going to drill right over there. Uh... I'm gonna take my time on this guys here we go all right guys so as you can tell here this is where the drill bit came out but the actual thing is uh, the actual pin is right there so I just used the Dremel I obviously put some tape if you can tell this part is clean that's all dusty so I cut into it just to see where it's at just a nice small area and I have my templates over here with the area for the, the pin so it's gonna be just like that so I'm going to tape it, I'm going to clean this up, tape it all around, tape my template on there. And I'm not going to make the hole just this size yet. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then just sand my way around it until it fits perfectly. And this is the way it's going to be because, as you can tell, the lock is over here. So say you're driving, you don't want it to be facing this way just in case this happens to get unlocked which I, the reviews say that it doesn't, it doesn't swing up. So just like this and yeah, I'm going to take my time on it. Like I said, I made this small little hole. So we're going to put it just like that. You can tell the pin is right there and uh, yeah, here we go. All right, you guys. So a lot of cutting and digging into fiberglass later. I'm all covered in fiberglass, but we got the hole somewhat um i put the the little paper my template underneath and i put the masking tape and you can still see the lines i don't know if you can see it through the cameras but i could i cut the little hole like i said i'm gonna make it shorter and i can still see the lot i can still see the line there you go so i'm gonna sand just to get that perfect thing and make sure the little uh the hood pin will fit so i'll keep checking it constantly 
but uh that's gonna be it for right now it is super dark outside it is 11 26 p.m and my mom just gave me a call saying i'm making way too much noise and my neighbors already hate me so i'm gonna just leave this for the morning i'm gonna leave everything the way it is so I, that's how i know everything is man that sucks all right i'll catch you guys tomorrow morning what's the deal everybody welcome back the last clip you guys just seen was actually from three days ago that's right when i started doing this it was on tuesday it is now friday and I've been so busy, so the car has just been sitting in the garage waiting for me to get back to it. So for right now, I'm finally back. Just got off work. And I'm going to go ahead, start her up, move her out of the garage a little bit, and finish working. It's been three days, so three-day cold start. Here we go. The garage open up. Alright guys, so I pulled the car out and I did a little bit more cutting. I got it right next to the edge on both sides. Now I just quickly changed the tip to the sanding little thingy majingi. And uh, I'm about to focus my areas on this little curve right here and up here. And then we'll see how the, the, the hood pin fits. And then uh, we'll go from there. Here we go. Alright guys, so I got the hood pin over here. And um, this whole area is done, all right? It fits, it goes in, but we have a little problem. The actual pin, if the camera, if, yep, there you can see it. The pin is not exactly where it needs to be. It is a little bit, uh, this isn't a, it's a little bit to the front. So I kind of push the, the pin up this way. I don't know why that happened, but I don't know what to do. Uh, that fits perfectly, and I don't want to drill a little bit more into here. I don't want to grind it more that side. But I don't know if I should, or if I should just drill a hole in the radiator support and relocate the actual pin. Because the latch, the hole for the latch is ready, but it didn't line up with the pin. And I don't know what to do. Once I think of something, I'll pick the camera back up. Alright guys, so I finally got it adjusted to where it fits. Currently right now, press this. And it's right there. So, push that down. Locks, and as you can tell, it's not shaking or going anywhere. Obviously, I need to adjust the height a little bit because there is a height gap right here. But since it is locked down right now in its place, I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes so that the latch, where'd it go? I know I just had it. I didn't put it back. There it is. So that this will go from underneath just like that and it drills into here. So I'm going to drill the holes real quick while it's nice and tight in, it, in its place. And then I'll see you guys at the next step. Alright guys, so I finally got the thing installed. And uh, man, it was a pain in the ass to put that lower bracket on and get these screws on. But basically, let's go ahead and show you guys how it works. Unlock the hood. I got the vacuum out. So basically, push this down, lift it up, give it a little push, then lift it up, and the rest is normal. I had to make the cut over here a little bit bigger so I can have my finger push in the bracket while getting the screws on there. And then this is all adjusted. This rubber thing is adjusted as well. So the hood is nice and push that down. Then that's it. And as you can tell, it's not shaking or going anywhere. And this is how it used to be before. 
used to be like crazy. But now it's not. So, honestly, I'm going to go ahead and just get this side done. It's going to take a while. I'm going to take more time on this one just so I don't have to run into that same mistake as that one. And then I'll catch you guys when I'm done, man. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, fast forward, like I said, that new one is installed now. And this is just how it's going to look. Basically, everything's installed. It's a little bit dirty. I got to clean up all that dust residue and whatnot that one's installed this one's installed and this is how it looks I went on a little test drive I made sure I got up to speed and like I already showed you guys it's not going nowhere on both sides so let me show you guys how the unlock process goes so go ahead unlock the latch and then come over here do this Come over here, do this. This one is giving me a little problems. I don't know why it doesn't like to come off the first time. And it still doesn't want to come off. I give it a little push. All right. This is embarrassing. Usually the second time it comes off. Hmm. Come on, man. I wonder why okay come on dude you were just coming off yes there are two bolts missing I know and uh, I'm getting that taken care of still does the job though what's going on over here open back up and I was also able to just put the cover back up just like that they're both nice and tightened down uh, just like that that's how it looks from underneath this one I did need to make it a little bit bigger that's why two bolts were missing I couldn't squeeze my finger inside there but yeah all in all that's how it turned out and then the closing process is simple pull it down do this and just push them in so that's how it looks and like I said it's a nice little sleek design and it just matches it flushes and it looks nice so yeah let me know what you guys think of these it does the job and I am proud of that as long as it works <laughs> it looks good so let me know what you guys think if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content coming here very soon. And uh, it's been your boy, Hemi Life, man. Peace out.